Not a lot. Hello. Paul Daniel Hello. says that. Not a lot. Come well, back. here he comes, the perfect husband again. Alan, come back to us. Your first question is about jogging, which is a fairly popular form of exercise these days. Have you never even mentioned or thought about going jogging? Have you talked about it but never actually done it? Or have you actually gone out and tried a little jog? I've tried a little jog. I've tried a little <laughs> jog. That's lovely. Down the canal, she said. That's right. After you've dried your hands on the towel in the bathroom, do you just throw the towel down anywhere? Do you fold it fairly neatly and put it back over the towel rail? Or do you just sort of toss it over the towel rail in a mess? What does she say? I fold it over. Fold it over neatly. <laughs> show that thumped Leo Sayer <laughs> and belted Rod Stewart. <laughs> we just can't let a megastar go, but today we've got the all ever lovely twinkly-eyed David Essex, so we thought we'd interview him, and here it is. <clears throat> uh, David, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you appear on my show, and I hear that you have a new record out. Yes. I hear it's really great. Drinks. And not only that, but it's called The Imperial Wizard, too. Yes. You're known as an a... Motoring. Performance as sporting as you like. This 3-litre gear does 0 to 60 in 9.5 seconds and 119 miles per hour. While the 1300 gives you good fuel economy. The well-proven suspension layout, long wheelbase and wide track gives safe, predictable handling. Space. If you don't want to carry four people, fold the back seats down and you get a massive 22 cubic feet of it. The new Capri gives you a lot more car than you expect. Performance, versatility, space. And for £2,848 for the 1300 it'll probably cost you less than you think. Hey, that's great. Little broccoli spears. I was just talking to one of those naughty hot gossip ladies, tete a tete, and I mean that, you know? And she told me that they practice all those super naughty writhings and movings they do. I said, could I be their coach? And she said, yes, we will put seats in your mouth. <laughs> what a spirited lady. Julie, the eight-hour perfume for that 24-hour woman. I can bring on the bacon, fry it up in a pan, and never, never, never let you forget your romance, cause I'm a woman. Julie, the eight-hour perfume for your 24-hour Remember me? I'm the man who first used Grecian 2000 on TV five years ago. Grecian, easy to use as water. You control how much grey you gradually get rid of. Now once a week keeps it looking perfectly natural. Grecian and Lady Grecian. We'll do it! All right! Lots of stuff. Look up! If it's magic you want! Morning, 
early bird, it's 6 a.m. precisely. Rise and shine. Kellogg's Rise and Shine tastes like orange juice, but costs a lot less. And just one glass has all the vitamin C you need each day. Good morning, world. It's 7.30 a.m. Rise and shine. Be surprised if the good it feels. Just zoom around all the young wheels so merrily. Oh, baby. You don't need to take it, but we'll take you on the free and you see no rich vanilla. Don't be worried, because there's no cause for alarm. <laughs> Cause we've got Sheldon who's the dragon, he will keep you free from harm. Keep your cars and motorcycles in tune. And finally, use mass transportation whenever possible. Let's all work together to keep our air clean. It's a matter of life and breath. Zenith System 3. Now, even better. Now there's Computer Space Command Remote Control. System 3. Even better. Wait for Hero exactly what we were getting up to in the heart of the Wiltshire countryside a bit later on in the programme. But before monsters from outer space, we... What were you doing over there? Like I was a secretary. Work? A secretary? Yeah. From that to megastar? Yes, I was uh, a typist. So how did you get from behind a typewriter to behind television cameras and... or in front of them and in front of microphones? Oh, I don't know. I just walked. It was very easy. I, uh, I used to... Uh, well, I worked for radio, and the studio was right there. And I think my relationship to the studio and to the engineers was very direct, and uh, sort of gave me the uh, the bite, you know. Mm. And how did you come to team up with Chris and the rest of the gang? Well, we met at a show. Where I mean, I went to see Debbie, and she was singing. I was smitten. With your camera? No, I didn't. I couldn't afford it in those days. <laughs> so one thing's changed. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. how long have you been going? Is uh, as Blondie the group. Since 75. A conversation. It's another to transmit accurate digital information. Now, an extension at the Research Institute in Chelmsford, which has perfected this technique. On the other end of this should be Liz Charnock. Hello, Liz Charnock. <laughs> Hello, Liz. That's a relief to hear your voice. I'm in Danbury Park now. You know the area better than I do. How far am I away from you at the moment? Well, you're about seven miles away, Mike. We're in Chelmsford here at the uh, Chalmer Institute. I'm in my little office in the middle of the campus. Thank you very much for taking part in this experiment, uh, which was actually happening in real time. We didn't cheat this one, did we? Certainly not. Certainly not. And it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for your help. Bye-bye. And that final tone is the instruction from me that I've cleared down. <laughs>